Hey there marketing research students and SPSS users. In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you some of the basic overarching formatting options that you have available to you in SPSS to help you make your, for, uh, your output look a little more consistent with uh, what you might expect it to look like. So let's run a quick cross tab and illustrate some of these principles here. So let's go to uh, Analyze. Again we're using the Spring 2014 craft beer data set. Let's go to Descriptives and let's go to cross tabs and what we want to do is let's take a look at how well the different um, genders performed on the objective beer knowledge questions so if we display variable names here via right click we have the gender recode variable we'll drag that up into our rows and then we have the quiz correct recode so this was the score that people uh, how well they did on the four question quiz about beer let's go ahead and also click statistics Oh, I'm sorry, let's click cells, my apologies. And observe should be selected by default. Let's also ask for percentages in total. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue here. And let's go ahead and, and run our table. So our output pops up. <clears throat> and a couple things uh, should draw your attention to in this uh, table here. First, so for our quiz correct, we have scores from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's correct. People, people could score somewhere from 0 to 4. We have, and then on the gender side, we have both a 1 and male, 2 and female, 3 and other or refuse. Now this is interesting. You might not see this. You might see something a little different. I have both the value and the value label. We don't have any value labels for the objective quiz question, so all we have is the numbers. But over here, we did use value labels. So if we go to our data set, variable view and go to gender recode here we'll see that we have value labels set up so that's where that came from but you might not be seeing that you might be seeing something different what's going on well go ahead and we have to we have to change the overarching settings that uh, SPSS has by default when it reports uh, tables go to edit anywhere from any from any menu uh, go to options and you are have a bunch of headers here let's specifically visit output labels grab the output labels tab where it says outline labeling and pivot table labeling you probably have different settings than I have here I have names and labels and values and labels shown let's switch it to just names and just values just values and names and I'm going to apply this change hit OK now notice I changed the default setting. It did not change anything about this table. I already ran this table. It's stuck in the way it's stuck the way it is. But if we run that table again, analyze, descriptives, cross tabs, and hit OK. Notice this time I turned off the request to give me both the uh, variable label. So all I have now is just gender recode, the name of the variable, and the numeric codes, not the actual label. And I could have switched it. I could have had so the label was only shown and only the value labels were shown here. Neither way is right or wrong. By default, I tend to prefer having both the variable name and the variable label, the value name and the value label. But depending on your particular reporting desires, it might make sense to switch these global settings. And again, just go to Edit, Options, Output Labels, and Toggle to your heart's desire. So I like to leave it this way by default. If you don't have that way by default, I encourage you to maybe set it this way. Now another option. Maybe we don't want our table by default to look this way. We have some other options available to us. We can go to Edit, Options. If you go to Pivot Tables, you'll see there's a numerous options available to us for what our default settings of our, our tables look like. To be honest, I find many of them very unappealing, but let's just apply one just to see the principle in action. So I'll grab Compact Academic Times Roman. I'll apply this. Now this is my default setting. Again, does not change the look of my existing tables. I already ran them. I have to run it again to get the new settings. Analyze, Descriptives, cross tabs run it. sure enough I have a slightly different looking table here okay now next thing well that's really small let's go ahead and 
tweak one more thing about these tables. Now, all these tables are editable to some extent within the SPSS system. I'm going to go to my very first crosstab that I made here. And when I look at this table, when I look inside the cells, I see both the count, the actual count of the crosstabs, and then the percentage relative to total. So if we add up all these percentages inside the boxes here, it'll add up to the 100% total. Maybe instead of showing both the count and the percent of total, I only want to show the count. Well, what I can do here is I can double click to move this to open up a little bit. And your pivot table uh, coding area should pop up. You should have something that's called the formatting toolbar pop up as well. If you don't, there's some settings here to pull it back up. Under formatting toolbar, you'll see this little multicolored rotating square wheel thing here. If you click that, it's the pivot controls. So now we have our pivoting trays. These pivoting trays right now have everything set as either rows or column settings, but we can move these around. You can click and drag. What we're going to do here is we're going to take statistics. In our case, our two statistics are the count and the percent of total. I'm going to drop this into my layer setting. As a layer now, it sort of puts these things on top of one another, and I pick what I want to see. So now that I dropped it over here in layer, I can close this out. And notice what's happening here. I still have the same variable in my columns, same variable in my rows, but now I only have the count visible. See here, the, now it's moved into a layer setting, so a drop-down menu. So I switch from count to percentage of total. Now I have just the percent showing. Again, which one is the correct one for you to show? Just one of these? Both of these simultaneously? Well, it depends. It depends on what objective you're trying to do. What I'm trying to show you here is how you can tweak these settings within SPSS. So I'll do percent of total in this case. I'll close it out, and sure enough, here's my table. All right, very good. So that's some very basic formatting and adjusting that we can do with, within SPSS to improve the quality of our output. We'll talk about some more advanced techniques in class as well as maybe an additional video.